Today, I'm going to tell you about a secret mark which shows if somebody's a properly initiated chemist, if they've really been through the experience of becoming a chemist. I'm in the lab where Primo Levi, the famous Italian writer and chemist, used to work. We're really lucky. It's going to be refurbished in one or two days' time. So we're the last people ever to film in here. And Primo Levi, in one of his books, wrote a famous story called The Mark of the Chemist. So it's not really a story, but it's more an essay about what it's like to be a student doing chemistry. And he has this idea that chemists are rather like Freemasons or a guild of artisans who all learn to do the same trade, to make chemicals, to turn one thing into another. And what he says is that every chemist has a special mark on their hand to show that they're a chemist. And the way the mark came about is like this. Nowadays, when we join chemical glassware together, they have ground glass joints and they just fit together, rather like, as he says, like Lego or some sort of construction kit. But in the old days, people used corks or rubber bungs and you had to put glass tubing through it. So what you did was, first of all, you made a hole using a special tool called the cork borer. And some people say the cork borer was the greatest invention for chemistry in the whole of the 19th century. And then once you'd made the hole, you had to force the glass tubing into the hole. So what people had to do and the way the mark of the chemist was formed was to push the glass into the hole. And you can see it doesn't go in at all easily. And very often it would slip and the piece of glass would go into the chemist's finger. But because most chemists are right-handed, according to Primo Levi, the mark would be on the chemist's left hand, just about there. But I'm left-handed, so I ought to have a mark here. Now, I don't have one, either because I was lucky or perhaps because I didn't do it enough. But the point that Primo Levi makes in his story, and the one I think is rather fun, is that all chemists know that it's dangerous doing this. But nobody used to tell the young chemists of the danger just so they could go through this initiation ceremony of sticking the glass into their hand for themselves. Nowadays, I'm a safety officer, so I have to tell people like you to be careful. But it is surprising how many modern chemists still have accidents sticking pieces of glass into their hand.